Dry eye is a multifactorial disease with ever increasing prevalence. The current treatment for dry eye is not good enough. What's new on the block? Better treatment needs more advanced diagnostics. Presenting Hydra Diagnostics. Using the interferometry feature, we can evaluate the quality and quantity of the lipid component of the tear film and compare it with the reference grading scale. Mebography helps us to image the morphology of the mebomin glands and diagnose gland dropout. The non-invasive breakup time helps assess the stability of the mucin layer and the whole tear film by using grids projected onto the cornea. Introducing EI, a non-invasive treatment using an intense regulated pulse light technology for the treatment of dry eye. Who are the eligible candidates? Patients with predominantly evaporative dry eye, pre-lastic patients with MGD and dry eye, glaucoma patients intolerant to medications, symptomatic patients with no or few signs, patients with MGD prior to undergoing cataract surgery, dryness post-refractive surgery, contact lens intolerance, Mebomian gland dysfunction leads to inadequate expression of mebum and consequently a deficient lipid layer with tear film instability and the onset of dry eye. How does the EI work? We start with choosing the desired energy level decided by the skin tone of the patient. It is important to validate the warnings prior to starting the treatment. After putting an eye shield and application of jelly, the treatment involves applying flashes to the zygomatic region, five on each side. Our hypothesis is that this increases the secretion of mebum and aqueous by stimulation of a parallel pathway involving the zygomatic nerve, which increases the parasympathetic outflow to the mebomian and lacrimal glands. Eventually, mebomian gland expression causes restoration of the lipid layer and reduced dryness. The treatment protocol involves three settings, day 0, day 15 and day 45 with an optional fourth setting. Thus, advanced diagnostics and newer therapies stimulating previously unknown pathways may help us in conquering dry eye.